and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at percentages of amounts. Um, I'll start with the easy ones and then I'll look at some um, more trickier questions. So say for example you wanted to find 10% of an amount. To find 10% of amount all we need to do is divide the number by 10 but there are some steps that we need to follow. The first step we need to do is we need to convert the percentage into a fraction. And we need to remember that <clears throat> percent means out of 100. So any percentage is always going to be, as a fraction, over 100. So for example, 10% is always going to be 10 over 100. And we know that we can just divide by 10 to find what 10% is. The second step, what we need to do is when we need to find the fraction of an amount, so we divide the number by the denominator, as we looked at in the previous video, and then we take that answer and we multiply by the numerator. So for example, if I wanted to find 10% of 50, for example, all I would need to do is 50 divided by 10, which we know gives us five. So that's just finding 10%. If I wanted to find 5%, for example, what I could do is work out what 10% is and then divide that by 2. So say, for example, I wanted to find 5% of 60. What I would need to do, what I could do is find what 10% is. So 60 divided by 10, which gives us 6. And then we could do 6 divided by 2, which gives us 3. So we know that 5% of 60 is 3. Again, you can use your knowledge of finding 10% to work out any multiple of 10. So 20%, 30%, 40% and so on. So say, for example, I wanted to find 20% um, of... We'll look at 60 again, 20% of 60. Well, I know that I need to divide by 10 to give me... Uh, what 10 percent is so 60 divided by um 60 divided by 10 gives me six and then all i need to do because i know that i times 10 percent by two to get me 20 percent, i just need to do six multiplied by two which gives me 12 so 20 percent would be 12 if i wanted to find 30 percent, i would need to do six times by three which would give me 18 and then to find 40%, I would need to do 6 multiplied by 4, which would give me 24. Oh, make a mistake there, 24. Now, it does get trickier. So when you, in the key stage 2 um, test paper, they could ask them any, any percentage. So say, for example, 3% of 600. Now, for this one, what I would say to do is follow my steps. So turn 3% into a fraction, which I know is 3 over 100. And then I need to find a fraction of that amount. So 3 over 100. So I need to do 600 divided by 100, which gives me 6. And then I would need to do 6 multiplied by 3. So times by my numerator. So I turned it into a fraction divided by the denominator. Then I need to multiply by the numerator, which is 18. Um, if I wanted to find 7%, possibly of uh, 500, I would convert 7% into a fraction. And then I would divide by my denominator. So 500 divided by 100 is 5. 5 multiplied by 7, which gives me 35. My answer would be 35. Uh, we'll look at one more. Say you wanted to find 11% of 600, say. I'm just giving really ballpark simple numbers here. Convert 11% into a fraction. I would do 600 divided by 100. So divide by denominator, which is 6. Multiply by the numerator, 6 multiplied by 11 equals 66. There we go. So I hope that's made it a little bit clearer. 
really just a simple, simple steps to follow um, and you'll always get the mark. Thanks for watching.